Love that song. Well, California stay at home order is having significant impacts on businesses all over the state. El Cajon Mayor Bill Wells is joining us this morning to discuss how businesses in El Cajon are handling the orders. Good morning, Mayor. Good to see you. Good morning. So we've talked to you throughout this uh, pandemic, and you have really been on the side of advocating for businesses uh, to stay open, albeit with uh, the safety measures in place. And so getting news of these grants that are going to be uh, put out for businesses, I would imagine, is, is great news. Yeah. And, you know, I want to say first off, welcome to the team, Andrew Cuomo from New York. He's uh, on our side now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let but, you elaborate. Oh, well, you know, he, he came out yesterday and, and said that uh, basically shutdowns don't work and we need to get back to work uh, since we have a vaccine. And, and I, it's a little late to the party, but, uh, you know, he's welcome. You know, it, it has been said that most of the, the transmission has been because of at-home gatherings. Obviously, we're expecting the surge because of gatherings that were happening because of Christmas and New yeah. Year celebrations. And unfortunately, businesses uh, are being shut down to, to really just uh, hopefully shut everything down and, and stem uh, whatever tide may come. And so, uh, you know, I, I know you, you have been part of telling El Cajon, at least, uh, police officials to not enforce. And then we had San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria come out saying that he was looking for stricter enforcement of these uh, regulations. What is the situation right now with El Cajon businesses and those businesses that have chosen to uh, violate the, the public health orders? Well, you know, frankly, um, I don't know how many businesses are violating the public health orders. I went and looked through uh, the cease and desist orders the other day. I didn't see any El Cajon businesses. Um, I know that some people are running kind of an underground uh, economy and a speakeasy uh, way of running their restaurant or their nail salons right. or hair salons, but I don't um, know which ones they are. And um, I'm, I'm just hoping that they won't be uh, prosecuted and treated like criminals because they're certainly not. These are people that are trying to keep their businesses open so they can feed their families. And it's it's not a criminal act. It, it, this is a difference of opinion. People that believe that these, the shutdowns don't work and that there's an inequity in some people getting all of their pay, including Todd Glory and most of those other politicians, and them not getting any of their pay. And I, I, I understand that, that uh, frustration. Right. So the good news uh, today, of course, being uh, in talking about these business uh, grants and, and how they are going to be uh, put forth for businesses uh, who are you know, really trying to just stay afloat. So with the $2.5 million in CARES Act money being set aside for businesses, yeah. how is that going to be al allocated for businesses in El Cajon? Well, this is actually something that's been going on for a while, um, but we still have some money left available. And if you want to apply, if you think that you, you have a small business and, and that you have, uh, even if you don't know that if you qualify, I think it's really good to contact the city and, and try. Um, we're specifically looking for, for businesses that were significantly impacted, uh, like uh, restaurants, hair salons, nail salons, uh, places that were really completely shut down. And that, that would be a good uh, business to apply. But we also have money set aside for pe for individuals that need help with their rental assistance or with their utility bills. And again, don't assume that you, you don't um, qualify. You should go ahead and call the city or go to the website and go through the process of applying to see if we can help. Do you know how much of the total three and a half million that was set aside has already been handed out? I think we're at about two thirds right now, but we still have more and we hope to get more CARES money in. So we'll continue the program. Is there, I mean, is there a list of qualifications that you can quickly list for, for viewers who might be listening, who think maybe I, maybe I don't meet the qualifications or I don't have the proof of qualification. Uh, is there a quick list for them before they head to the website? Well, the main thing is that you should be an alcohol business and you should have an alcohol business license. And you should be in um, in compliance with uh, your corporation needs to be current and you know not have any uh, liens against it. But other than that, we're pretty open. And how are businesses being selected for this for this money? Um, we have a group of people that uh, citizens that are that are 
going through the review process and the, the staff is helping with that and kind of whittling down the, the people that definitely qualify and then a group of citizens are, are making the, the final choice. Well, Mayor Bill Wells, uh, thank you so much for the time this morning. I know you're you're working hard to uh, help the businesses there. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. So you can head to El